This project was inspired by two YouTube videos I saw about two weeks ago. The first was by Adrian on the Mars Gizmo channel, who showed a smooth time lapse on a bamboo printer, but recorded on an external camera. And I wondered, how did he do that? The second video was by Daniel on the Modbot channel, where he demonstrated an LED controller for bamboo printers made by his friend Dutch developer. This controller uses the MQTT protocol to get status information from the printer to control the LEDs. Links to both videos are in the description below. This made me wonder if I could use the MQTT data to determine when a layer change happens and control a camera. The simple answer is yes. First I configured my router to ensure the bamboo printer gets the same IP address every time. Then I wrote a simple MQTT client that runs on an ESP8266 microcontroller and connects to my home Wi-Fi, then connects and subscribes to the MQTT feed on the bamboo printer. The Wi-Fi and printer credentials are all hard-coded in the sketch. To control the camera, I was going to use a small servo to operate the shutter button of an action camera. But before I could implement that, I found a video and website by Reinhard Nichols that gives source code for an ESP8266 to allow Wi-Fi control of a Sony camera. As I have a Sony RX100, it was too good not to try. A link to both the video and website are in the description below. So this is my solution, two ESP8266s, one determining when to take the photo and the other controlling the camera. The camera code is mostly what Reinhardt has written, with the addition of a new interrupt routine to handle the input from the other ESP. Now we have this, all we need is a case. And if this is how you use it, plug in USB power. I've got a power light on to indicate that it's got power. It's now trying to connect to the Wi-Fi and the bamboo printer. Green light on means it's got an MQTT message from the bamboo printer already. I've got my camera here, which I'm going to switch on. And then go into menu, scroll across to applications, select that, down to application list, go to the smart remote. So we're starting up smart remote and we should see a connection coming up here. Yep, we've got a connection now. So we're ready to take time-lapse photos. There we are. As the ESP8266 running the MQTT client uses the change of layer number to determine when to take a picture, it doesn't know if the print head is in the picture or not. If we want to park the print head out of the way while the picture is taken, we need to add pre-layer change and modify the post-layer change G-code in our printer profile to move the head out of the way. I'm still playing with this. I do have something that seems to work, but it could definitely be improved. All the code for this project is in GitHub and the case SDL files are in Thingiverse. Links in the description below. Oh well, at least the G code seems to work.